Hello everyone, Russell with Aquarimax Pets here with an unboxing from Isotopia. So Isotopia was kind enough to send me some isopods. It's been a while since we've done an isopod unboxing. And I'm excited. Let's see, we have some contact information here. It's like they're in Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and Morph Market. There's Isotopia. Cool. Spuds for bioactive setups, pets or feeders. I like that they did a magic potion and a panda king. That's a cool logo. And there is a cool sticker as well. So I will be putting links in the description to their Instagram and to their Facebook. Isotopia. Cool name, too. All right. Let's see what's in here. The heat pack. Well, there are at least two different types here, it appears. Very cool. I'm going to remove these first without revealing the secret. Maybe you cut a glimpse of what's going on, but it seems like there's another one in there too. Cool. So three different types. Let's see what we can find out, huh? Ooh. Mm, can you tell what these are? I've never seen these, this species before in real life. I had no idea these were coming. Let's check it out. Oh, those have a really interesting look to them. These are, let's, let's get a better, better look if we can here. Cubaris Saba Gold Flake. Very interesting. Whoa. There, we can get a pretty good look at that one. Almost like a calico appearance, but unique. Never seen anything quite like that before. Wow. Hmm. Here is another. These are Armadillidium klugai. Pudding. Take a look at that. So I'm not sure if these are descended from the Montenegro locality or the Dubrovnik or maybe the Slano. I'm not sure. But there's apparently a mutation that uh, kind of softens the... the contrast between the red skirt and the rest of the body, it kind of removes some of that. Um, I saw an individual there that looked like it had most of the color. See, that one has more of a color. Oop, we just had an escape me. But I have collected it. I shall return it to the belly cup. Here we go. So a unique version of Armadillidium guy there. Spots still stand out just as much as in the wild hive. It's just the skirt. Contrast has been reduced. Interesting. And now, before we open one more, just want to give a shout out to our patrons at Patreon. Thank you so much for all you do. 
and I will put a list of our patrons at the end of this video. If you want to find out how to become a patron and help to support the channel, you can do so following the link at the end of the video or in the description. And now, these Armadillidium clugai orange. Let's get a closer look. Seen video of these. I don't think I've ever seen them face to face before. But I am fascinated by them. I do have Armadillidium werneri orange, which is kind of similar. But I do not have the clue guy. Look at that. I love how that how that looks. The contrast with the uh, orange and the white spots is still still very pronounced. Yeah, look at that. Those are gorgeous little isopods. You know, I'm not always a fan of reducing or changing the wild type coloration of something that's already got a lot of color, but in this case, I think it really, really works out. Those are fantastic. Let's see if we can get a closer look. I tend to get better macro shots with my uh, lens on my phone. As long as I can keep them in focus. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Gorgeous creatures. Look how bright that is. That's fantastic. Well, I could probably sit and stare at those all day, but we should get them into their enclosure. So I'm going to put these in this enclosure when I very recently prepped in a very recent video. I think uh, put these guys in here. Put this on the mossy side. And then I'll put this over here. Uh, and with this somewhat decomposed leaf litter. There we go. See if we can catch anybody moving about in there. Oh, yes. Put that right down there. Let them make themselves at home. Hopefully we get some breeding before too long. Well, Armadillidium klugai does appreciate a good moisture gradient and the length of this enclosure. It's got decent ventilation um, with this kind of length. If this stays moist, this, this side can still stay pretty dry despite its small size. So I think they should do well in here, just like the Armadillidium werneri did before when I had them in here course I won't keep them in here too long. Get them to produce a few broods and then I'll need to uh, upgrade the size of their enclosure. All right, now let's get these Cubara Saba Gold Flake into their new enclosure as well. Perhaps we can get a couple of uh, better shots before we do that. Wow, this variable pattern is really something we can see it close up. Beautiful isopod. And it looks like there's quite a bit of variability from individual to individual. Let's see if I can get move. That is pretty stunning. Oh, there's a little wee one. Nice. <laughs> I think you really have to see this fairly close up to appreciate it, so I'm glad this uh, camera lens does a decent job with the macro. 
And again, good example of the variability of the markings, quite different one from another. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and I'll put the moss over on this end, some of it anyway. And then we'll get these little guys situated. So this one seems to have fairly low expression of the markings than some of these others, like this one here. That's some pretty high expression. Beautiful stuff. Wow. I'd heard of this species, but I didn't realize how beautiful it was, to be honest. Now I have an idea of what it looks like. And I'm a fan of these variable patterns. That, that tends to be something that I really like in ice pods is variability in their patterns. Well, thank you so much to Isotopia for sending us assortment of isopods. I'm going to have to get an enclosure together for the uh, clue guy pudding. And uh, thank you to our patrons for supporting the channel. You'll see a list of our patrons at the end of the video. And if you want to help support Aquarimax Pets and help us keep doing what we're doing, then please check out the link at the end of the video or in the description. And thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Lots of isopod content. Please feel free to share, rate, and comment. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell for all notifications so you don't miss my next video.